we're gonna dive in and make some loony llamas using, of all things, pool noodles. Let's see what else we need to make this craft. You're gonna want some long, furry chenille stems, some discarded pool noodles, some regular pipe cleaner stems, wiggly eyes, a pencil and a ruler, some heavy duty scissors for cutting your big chenille, some needle nose pliers, glue dots, white glue, and a serrated edge knife. So this is definitely a craft that needs some adult supervision. The first thing we're gonna do is measure and cut our pool noodle. And we're gonna start off making our blue one today, which means that we're gonna cut one solid piece about three inches long. Now, if you wanted to make our little friend that has the stripey body, you would cut three one inch strips. So very carefully, cut your pool noodle at the three inch line and then you're going to go ahead and poke some leg holes in the bottom. One on this side and one on that side. And we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing here. So this does need some adult supervision because we're doing some poking and some cutting. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is measure and cut some of our big fuzzy chenille stems. The first two pieces you need are about nine inches long and I've measured and cut two here. You need one for each set of legs and then you need one long piece that's about 11 inches for the head and the body. Okay, so put that aside. This does get a little messy so you might wanna put down some newspaper. Okay, now we're ready to start assembling. We're gonna take one of the fuzz, fuzzy chenille stems, it's really challenging to say, but a lot easier to play with. And we're gonna poke it through one side and we may need to grab our needle nose pliers and pull and then poke it through the other side. So I am using these pliers to help me guide it through the little hole that I made, like so. Okay, just like that. And we'll repeat with this side. Make sure you find those pre-poked holes because that will make it easier for you. And in, and oh, this is the one's a little bit easier for me. And pull through. Okay, there you go. So now we've got legs and feet. Okay, I made that one a little long, so let's do like that, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and thread our body through, and this is pretty easy. All you have to do is bring it through from the front to the back, and then use your pliers to fold over the tail, fold the feet over like this, so those little pokey wire bits don't get ya, like so, and we do that all four times. And then we're gonna take the head, bring it up and fold it over into a little loop to create the head, like this. So to make the actual feet so we can stand up, we're gonna take chenille stems and wrap it around a couple of times, and then twist, and then make some bends to give him toes. Now, do you know that llamas have two toes? They do, so you wanna give him two bends, one for each toe, and then wrap it back around like this so that he has some little feet to stand on, like this. Now you're gonna go ahead and repeat that on the other side. So once you've done this, you are at about this point, and now we're gonna kind of finish him off with some cute details. We're gonna take a little bit of felt and cut it into kind of an oval shape, like this. I guess it's a little pointier on the ends, but these are gonna be his ears. And we're gonna take a small pipe cleaner stem and wrap it around like this and put some ears on them and you can just wrap that stem around so that you don't really see it, it hides in the fur. And then lastly, we're going to use a couple of glue dots to give him some fun wiggly eyes. And since you gave him a little haircut, he's got a face so you can actually see them. Just like this. These are gonna be so much fun to put on your table or give to your friends like this. There we go, he's adorable. <laughs>